getting ready to go meet up with some of Marco's friends. The bathing suit that I'm wearing also has cherries on it because the first town that I had in Animal Crossing had cherries as its local fruit. So that's why I got this bathing suit, fun fact. All right, don't do it. You ready? Uh, yeah. Like, you know how like you meet girls, you're like, ah, especially if they're pretty, like they're probably gonna be like mean. She is like the exception. Can I catch a shark? You can. I could. Everyone. Well, we're just gonna think you're a fake bee. This is the same thing at home though. What was your first impression of me? Honestly, I didn't I couldn't believe that she was real. <laughs> Someone this happy, this genuine, like non-existent down in South Florida. Happiness is all that matters and she's got it. I love her. What's that? What kind of shell is this? <laughs> Who you think this is? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to keep that! We keep finding hands in the sand. <laughs> We're on our way to the mall. Which mall are we going to? Uh, Aventura. Some Spanish girls love me like a mom with daughter. So we were just walking around the mall and we had to sit down here because Marco had to sell out of the stock. <laughs> Actually buy the cover. Okay, buy the cover. Say what it was, what were you in? Uh, GameStop. Why GameStop? Why do people want GameStop? And there was a massive short squeeze caused by a bunch of idiot investors <laughs> on Reddit and Robinhood and anyone who thinks that GameStop is a good company to buy right now is just stupid. So we saw way overpriced stock of GameStop. Like literally hit $170 today. I shorted it at like $100 and uh, now it's at about 70 is where I got out. I ended up making about, I don't know, 27% on that. Not a bad day. This morning, yeah. All right, let's go shopping. Yeah. Herkese merhaba. Juliana ile Gucci'deyiz. Alışverişteyiz. Seven. Ne haber kanka? What's that over there? It's GameStop. Hi again, so we're getting ready for dinner right now. My brother's actually like taking a shower, getting ready. I just threw on a dress. I want to just take a second and appreciate the moon's beauty. This reminds me of that one scene from Bruce Almighty when he like throws the lasso over the moon and then he like does this. I'm not gonna climb on it because I might fall and die, but you know what I mean? He like throws it and he brings it closer. Something that I love the most about traveling and going different places is different perspective or just, you know, reflecting on your life and what's really important. Right now, I'm just taking the time to appreciate the moon. No matter where we are in the world and on this planet, the moon always looks the same. And I think that is just so beautiful. It's like super deep too. It makes me think about how when we're with different people, maybe we like put on a front or like a mask. We kind of aren't 110% ourselves with everybody that we meet. And something I strive to be is very transparent transparent so and, you know if you watch my YouTube videos if you see me in real life you're like oh like that's what Juliana's like like no matter who I'm with like I always want to be consistent like I want to be like the moon like I want to just shine and, and be the same no matter where you know I think we can all learn something from the moon I love her so much and the sun I love them both I just ugh. okay I'm talking way too much I am also seeing my brother getting upset at me because I'm taking too long so I got dinner but i'll see you guys when i see you guys make sure you look at the moon tonight even if it's a new moon and you can't see it just like think about the moon because she'd really appreciate it <laughs> Okay, so we're going to the beach today, and Marco's just finishing up some stuff. We've been watching a different Adam Sandler movie every single night. We watched Big Daddy, 50 First Dates. <laughs> we have to watch Mr. Deeds tonight. Cheerios! Man, I got that. What else? Lasagna. What do you want to accomplish today? Nothing. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. See ya.
entire portfolio using the lead drivers. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. The rest of the stuff I'm waiting for just go through. In the meantime, that's what happens. Yeah. Okay, everyone, so I'm just gonna put some so funny. I get really red on my chest the first time my chest sees the sun. So we're getting ready to go out to dinner with um, some people. It's part of the business part of the trip. I'm probably not gonna do my hair because I feel like I look more like free spirited. Like, hey guys, like, like more approachable. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. I looked in the mirror and I was just like, wow, like I look like that girl. Like she cares, but she doesn't care. Like that's the look. I'm always trying to do that look. I was gonna put a little color on my face, but I was like, gee, you got enough color. Yeah. It's recording just so you know. Wow, look at you. Come here. Hey. <laughs> People thought we were twins yesterday. Do we look like twins? Comment down below. I feel like we look very different. I think we look the least alike out of all the siblings. I think I probably look the least like the rest of the siblings. I feel like I do. Oh, and 20 on yeah, I. Yeah, and very alike. That's true. So yeah, this is the look with some heels. I don't know what heels they're gonna be yet, but this is it. I'm not gonna do my hair. I think, I don't know. And you know, when I'm done getting ready for things, I'm always like, you know, if I don't look that good, people should just like me for me anyway. So then I'm just like, all right, I'm ready and I don't feel as bad. People should just like you for you. Like if you, you know, have a bad sunburn, like, and people judge you, then you don't wanna be around those people anyway. They should just want you for what's in, what's in here. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I see you guys. What's your favorite part of being an Uber driver? Your favorite part of being an Uber driver, what is it? My favorite. Your favorite part of being an Uber driver. You meet a lot of people? Yes, there are a lot of people. Yeah. Do they talk a lot or not really? Yeah. Kind of. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. It is the morning and a new day. I'm just going to the beach again and I'm wearing shorts and another bathing suit and I just bought this hat. It's really cute from some island store. It's like sparkly and it has like little shells and I love it. So we're gonna go to the beach and do nothing all day. <laughs> I've been at the beach for a little bit and Viv pulled up and she brought this beach bag full of fun and we're gonna do a little unboxing of what's in her bag. I was just like, meet me at the beach. She brings bubbles. She's like, oh, we can get cute pics. This is so fun. Quick little update on how the sandcastle is looking. So we got Vivian over here on Love Island. Love headquarters, actually. We got some houses. I'm gonna find some pretty shells. I'll give you an update as we go on, but this is how it's looking. And it just collapsed, so you know, ish happens. We're gonna just make a giant hole now. All right, Yellow <laughs> <laughs> this is beach pizza. Beach stuff. Deeds pizza. Deeds pizza. <laughs> there. Oh, nice. Oh, it goes on your head. It's like your headband. Yeah, Sunny Savora. Sunny Savora. Sunny Savora. If there's wind, hold on. You gotta. <laughs> this is the ring toss headband Yenge. unicorn edition. <laughs> Yenge. <laughs> Like, shut up, stop snoring. I'm so tired. I wanna go to bed! I'm gonna get that. I think I got this one every single day. Yeah. I did smoke salmon. Over there. So, what's going on with GameStop now? It's in the news, so we don't care about it. It means it's only gonna go down from there. Hey guys, so it's our last day, and we're at Aaron's little mini beach over here. Okay, we'll let you guys know if anything cool happens. 
crikey, there's a big iguana right over there. So I'm gonna throw this yep. that way. Hope he's gonna push him out. Okay. Southbound. All right. <laughs> so what are you trying to do over here? Really over here. We're gonna get all the water over there. So Marco's trying to connect this all the way to the ocean. We'll see where he's at in like an hour. Marco's digging the trench behind me. So right now I'm looking for pretty seashells. I want to make like a picture frame or something, or like we might make like a sandcastle and like I want to put pretty shells on it. So that's what I'm doing. One thing that makes me sad though that I'm noticing is like people litter all over these beaches. It makes me very sad. It's ridiculous. See, like look at that. We didn't bring this. Someone really just trashed that on the beach. Isn't that ridiculous? I hate humans like that. What do you have to say about people who litter on the beach? They're raised by trash themselves. Raised by trash themselves. So my favorite part about getting the shells is that like there's perfect ones but I like the ones that have some personality. They're like kind of chipped. Like this one's perfect. Like okay we get it. You're perfect shell. But like I like this wacky looking one. You know? It's definitely the vibe. So update on this dam. We got the community involved. And now they're blocking the water, so it goes down. Oh my gosh, look at this, they did it. I didn't even see they did it, look at this, they did it. They really did it. It's going to the ocean now. You guys wanna be in my vlog? Say hi. Hi vlog, how's it going? What are your names? Mason. Judson. Judson, I've never heard Judson. What's your name? Uh, yeah. I'm Shaniqua. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm Julia. Who's this lady? Uh, Kind of she your mom? <laughs> so explain what we got going on here. You finally did it. How many hours did it take? Uh, about five hours to get to this point. <laughs> All the uh, water was going that way, and as you can see, it's been carving out the entire beach, and nobody wants that. So we decided to channel out through this way. Take Bikini Bottom it, and move it, it somewhere, somewhere else. <laughs> because we did this, it makes the water just goes right to the ocean. And they saved the beach. Aaron, any thoughts on the new pathway? It's gonna take some more time. I'm trying to get the water to be stopped up here, like you said. And then this will just grow. This will be the next, uh, what's that thing called over in Arizona? Not the Great Barrier Reef. The Grand Canyon. The next Grand Canyon. <laughs> Yeah.